where's the head of the humerus in relation to the scapula itself? So sometimes I like to look at the load shift first, looking at that plane and seeing, okay, are they super anterior or not? Because that's going to influence what my active range of motion testing would be, etc. Secondly, I like to just palpate the long head of the biceps and see it's, if it's sensitive or not. If it is, then I know my active range of motion and overpressure might have more sensitivity as I'm doing the testing. So I want to know, are they anterior and is there sensitivity to the long head of the biceps? I could also quickly check the sulcus as well because if, they're, if they are more mobile, then that will affect your testing as well and the cluster of tests you choose. So that is the baseline. And then you have the person do flexion through abduction, external rotation actively, and then you do your overpressure, and then they come back down. You have them do abduction with the thumb up and do overpressure, and then come back down. We bring them into external rotation and we do overpressure, and then we have them put their hand behind their back. And then, so then we're looking at patterns because if their hands behind their back, can they lift off or not? Okay, all of a sudden we're looking for some subscap issues. So there's many tests that are inside all of those just different functional range of motion. So as we go through our clusters, this will be our foundation. Part two is getting the shoulder in neutral and then doing isometrics at that point. Because if we do resistance at end of range of motion, we're going to have too many tissues involved that it's going to get confusing. So then in this position, we can just have the patient push out into me and do the resisted testing in neutral, push into me. They can go into abduction. And again, we're building it up, holding it for a few seconds. Go into flexion. And go into extension. So although this is a simple active range of motion, knowing the lay of the land first, knowing if there's any sensitive tissues or hypermobilities first, doing the active range of motion with overpressure and then doing resistance in neutral will give you a lot more information on your hypothesis. Then you can springboard off that to what special tests you're going to do.